Yeah. Okay, councillors and members of the executive. Welcome, councillors and members of the executive and the public watching through our online streams is unscheduled meeting of council on the 22nd of the 2nd, 2022. All those twos. Uh, Rural City Council acknowledges the elders, both past and present, and the tribes whose traditional lands form the municipality in which we meet today. Council on McKay, the prayer, please. We beseech you, Lord, that we may be granted wisdom, understanding, and sincerity of purpose in the decisions we are called on to make for the welfare of the people of the rural city of Swan. Thank you. All this season. Ms. Carver, do we have any apologies today? Um, Madam Mayor, we have councillors Young and King are on leave of absence. Thank you. Any declarations of conflict of interest for the report we're about to hear, councillors? Mine's muted. So there's a double up on the audio. I believe. Uh, Try it. Just have to let me know if when Les raises his hand because I might be able to say it. That's all. Any declarations of conflict of interest? No? All right, then we will jump straight into section B. Reports B22.13, Building Better Regions Fund Round 6. Ms Green, please. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Um, this is a really exciting report to bring to Council. Um, we, we have already lodged a grant application under the Building Better Regions Fund for projects that uh, we had talked to Council about last year. Um, they include three components. One being the Robin Valley Leisure Centre expansion, including a new gym, high ball court, and a meeting room. Um, some nature and active play precinct um, development at Centenary Park in Robin Vale, including a skate park and play playground. And the third one is the Robin Vale Sporting Hub, which is um, a change rooms and um, Grandstand um, at the football uh, facility in Robin Vale. Um, the amount of money um, being requested uh, will give us a total of $7.7 .7 million um, in value of infrastructure with only $885,000 required from Council. Uh, that would be leveraging some state funding that we already have for the Leisure Centre in Robin Vale. Um, one of the requirements of the grant is that we have a resolution of council uh, for, for the grant application, and therefore the recommendation is the council endorse the application to the Building Better Regions Fund Round 6 for the projects that I've outlined, commit to a contribution of $885,000 from, from council's 10-year major project plan, if successful in the grant application and reallocate $285,000 in funding from year two in the major projects plan um, to ensure adequate matching funds if this application is successful. Thank you. Any questions, councillors? Ms. Green, um, these projects have all been part of our planning for, you know, in the long term, haven't they? They have, yes. Um, that's Thank you, Councillor McKay. Any other questions, councillors? Councillor McPhee, who's joining us by Zoom. No questions? I'd like to move the motion as stated. Thank you, Councillor McKay. As per the recommendation, Second. seconded Councillor Jeffrey. Would you like to speak to the motion? Yes. Uh, this, these projects, if funded, will provide a huge improvement to the infrastructure uh, for the important town of Robinvale in our region. Um, it will be an absolutely fantastic uh, improvement to sporting facilities, uh, but also it works in conjunction with the riverfront and Robinvale has one of the most magnificent riverfronts along the Murray River. It is an untapped uh, source of vibrancy and repute that our council is will be greatly beneficial in the future to continue to invest in. 
by bringing a playground to the riverfront, we'll bring life, daily life to the riverfront and continue on that ongoing commitment that our council has to improving infrastructure and lifestyle benefits to Robin Vale. Councillor Jeffrey. Uh, thank you, Chris. So that'll be the benefit of our 10-year major project plan is having a plan of projects that we want to see throughout our municipality across those 10 years and um, gives us the flexibility to move forward those projects when funding comes up available. So yeah, pretty much every major infrastructure we would be doing in our municipality is done with ratepayers' money, but and or usually has state and or federal money with it. Here. Very rarely do we do a big deal with just like that as money. In fact, I can't recall any projects we've done. So being able to move um, some of this money forward to the first two years um, helps all of all uh, achieve their outcomes, uh, but still keeps uh, Lake Viger, uh, the money there assigned to Lake Viger, uh, pushed back a bit, but it's still a project that we're looking for um, that co funding to get done. So thank you. Thank you, Councillor Jeffrey. Councillor Moore, would you like to speak to me? Thank you, Mayor Look, this is um, probably one of the best projects that I've seen for a long time in that uh, Council puts in about a dollar and uh, it's matched with about seven dollars in grants. It doesn't get much better than that, and uh, apart from untied grants. So this is fantastic. Um, the, it brings Robin Vale up to speed uh, or spec in terms of their of community expectations. Advancing its, the livability options there. It is a great place, as Councillor McKay says. The riverfront in Robin Vale, as I've said ever since I've been on Council, is a diamond in the rough up there. It is a truly magnificent place. And to get these, uh, hopefully, we'll get this grant to advance the, this uh, project here and um, all the options around the riverfront. And um, it's the major focus of Robin Vale. It'll it advance its livability, as I've said. It'll make it a fantastic place to live, a fantastic place to work, to play and create wealth. Um, I think this, this will really tick Robin Vale off. There's a great place to be. Uh, we've got a few other things to happen there yet. Um, we've got our uh, levy bank that's happened, which was probably the start of all this. We couldn't do anything without the levy bank being done and that's done. And um, now this can follow suit and a few other things to follow after that. But no, I, I highly commend the, the staff who actually rejig things around to get this to happen. Um, and to be attuned to all the grants that come away with. So, yeah, I have no um, hesitation in, um, in um, uh, supporting this motion. Thank you, Councillor Moore. Any other speakers for the motion? Um, I guess... Hang on. Sorry, Nicole. I'm just waiting to see if Les is, he has a right reply. Any speakers against the motion? No. Would you like to close, Councillor McKay? Um, various studies and consultations have identified the need to invest in opportunities and lifestyle features for youth. And I think the big positive about this one that we must emphasise is that it does provide a range of sporting activities, but also for younger children, adolescents, and um, bringing them to the area of the riverfront is just that creating that great um, experience and it'll pay off in spades. Thank you. Thank you. No more speakers. We will take it to a vote. All those in favour of the motion passed unanimously. Thank you, councillors. And being nothing else on the agenda, and being an unscheduled meeting of council, we will declare the meeting closed at 9 past 1 p.m.